Have you ever wondered just how deep the ocean really is, and what lurks beneath the waves in the inky blackness? Our planet's oceans are vast, covering more than 70% of Earth's surface. Yet, we have explored less than 5% of this underwater world. An alien landscape right here on Earth, the ocean depths are filled with mystery and wonder. The deeper we go, the stranger and more eerie the creatures we find. Creatures that seem to defy our understanding of life with their bioluminescent lights and alien-like structures. We're on the brink of the unknown, teetering on the edge of an abyss that is as fascinating as it is terrifying. The surface is but a veneer, a mask hiding an underworld that is as beautiful as it is eerie. Now prepare to plunge into the abyss as we descend into the ocean's depths. As we descend past 200 meters, we enter the twilight zone where sunlight begins to fade. This is the realm of the peculiar and the uncanny, where creatures have evolved in ways that boggle the mind. Here sunlight is a distant memory, and the darkness is only pierced by the ghostly glow of bioluminescence. Take for instance the vampire squid, its name alone is enough to send shivers down your spine, but it's not the name that's the most eerie. It's the creature's ability to cloak itself in a shroud of bioluminescent light, glowing in an environment where light is a scarce commodity. Its eerie blue glow is a sight that is both fascinating and terrifying to behold. And then we have the goblin shark, a creature that seems to have swum straight out of a nightmare. With a long, flattened snout and protruding jaws filled with nail-like teeth, it's a sight that's not for the faint-hearted. But it's these bizarre adaptations that allow it to thrive in the harsh conditions of the twilight zone. These are just a couple of the many creatures that call this zone home, each more bizarre and fascinating than the last. Their unique adaptations not only help them survive in this eerie world, but also add to the Twilight Zone's aura of mystery and intrigue. We've barely scratched the surface, let's descend further into the darkness. Past 1000 meters, welcome to the Midnight Zone, a world of eternal darkness. This is a realm where the sun's rays never penetrate, and the only light comes from the bioluminescent glow of its inhabitants. Among these creatures two stand out for their eerie appearances and adaptations to this harsh environment, the anglerfish and the giant squid. The anglerfish, a name that alone conjures images of terror, is a master of deception and lure. Its grotesque form, with a mouth full of razor-sharp teeth is enough to send chills down anyone's spine, but it's the luminescent lure that dangles from its forehead, a biological fishing rod of sorts, that truly sets it apart. This lure, glowing in the perpetual darkness, attracts unsuspecting prey right into the anglerfish's deadly jaws. Then we have the legendary giant squid, a creature so elusive that it was once believed to be nothing more than a sailor's myth. Reaching lengths of up to 13 meters, these titans of the deep are equipped with ten arms, each lined with suction cups and sharp hooks. Their eyes, the size of dinner plates, are the largest in the animal kingdom, perfectly adapted to spot prey in the inky blackness. Life in the midnight zone is not for the faint-hearted. The freezing temperatures here can drop to just above freezing point. The pressure, a crushing thousand times greater than at sea level, would instantly flatten most creatures. But these extreme conditions are precisely what make the Midnight Zone so fascinating. They've driven the evolution of some of the most bizarre and incredible creatures on our planet. Creatures that could give any horror movie monster a run for its money. As we journey deeper, the light fades completely, the temperatures plummet, and the pressure mounts. This is an alien world in our own backyard, a world full of wonders and horrors that continue to captivate our imagination. It's getting colder and darker but we're not at the bottom yet. Deeper still, beyond 4,000 meters, we reach the abyss, and finally, the Hadal Zone, the deepest part of the ocean. Here, the water pressure is a crushing 8 tons per square inch, equivalent to about 50 jumbo jets piled on top of a person. Yet, even in this extreme environment life prevails albeit in forms that might seem straight out of a science fiction novel. Consider the fangtooth fish for instance. This creature with its disproportionately large needle-sharp teeth and hostile appearance has adapted to the immense pressure and utter darkness of the abyss. It has the largest teeth of any fish in the ocean, proportionate to body size, and its body is covered in a thick, slimy mucus. The fangtooth fish is a testament to the strange and hostile forms life can take in the ocean's deepest regions. Then there's the Dumbo octopus, named for its ear-like fins that resemble the ears of Disney's Dumbo the elephant. Unlike its namesake, however, the Dumbo octopus is anything but cute and cuddly. It lives at depths of up to 7,000 meters and is one of the rarest species of octopus. 
It navigates the darkness using a complex system of light-sensitive organs and can change its color and texture to blend into its surroundings, making it an elusive and formidable predator. But what's truly mind-boggling is how little we know about these regions. The Abyss and the Hadal Zone remain largely unexplored, mainly due to the extreme conditions. The pressure is so high, the temperature so low, and the darkness so complete that conventional exploration methods are often inadequate. Despite these challenges, scientists continue to push the boundaries, driven by a curiosity to uncover the secrets that lie beneath the ocean's surface. These are not your typical backyard animals. They are creatures of the unknown, inhabitants of a world we barely understand. Each one is a testament to the resilience of life, its ability to adapt and thrive in conditions that seem utterly inhospitable. As we've seen, the deeper we go, the creepier the inhabitants. The ocean's depths are a world of darkness and mystery, filled with creatures as fascinating as they are eerie. But they're also a reminder of the vast unexplored frontiers that still exist on our very own planet, waiting to be discovered and understood. The ocean's depths beckon us, challenging us to venture into the unknown, to confront our fears, and to expand the horizons of our knowledge. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narration.